evening. So a dear old friend of mine came into the um, art gallery today and asked if I could mend her dear friend's treasured um, piece of Venetian um, memorabilia that she bought back from Venice with her um, and being an absolute die-hard fan of Venice and knowing how much these things can mean having spent my honeymoon there myself um, I thought I'd have a go at trying to mend her plaster of Paris um, mask it's in quite a few pieces but I think there might be a bit missing which will be quite interesting because it gives me the chance to have a go at remodeling the bits that aren't there so let's have a look at it and see what we can put together. Jigsaw puzzle with some of the pieces missing. The most important thing is get the first main piece back together. So let's try and get... Now, obviously, there's a little bit of damage at the crack where it broke, and it's not going to go back exactly together. So that will need to be filled and repainted now. And one of the problems is this is a, a, a like a metallic, um, pearlized finish. Um, you can just see the little tiny crack now across her nose. Um, matching this colour might be very, very difficult, but we'll do the best we can. I know I've got a pearl white. It's whether if I can get the right shade of purple to get that pearl finish correctly we'll do the best we can we might it might even look better by the time we finish than it did before so we'll just think positively about it so sorry watching glue dry is very similar to watching paint dry it's very boring it takes a while as you can see there's a big chunk missing here as well we might give that a little bit of a fill in um, it's nicely lined up, it's nicely lined up. Right, let's see if we can get the next piece on. This is quite an unusual one as well. I haven't seen many exactly like this one. Um, the, the pieces do, obviously they're mass produced. This one's are just a little bit more interesting with the swan feature and everything. So now we've got two pieces two pieces back on here now. We need to hold that in position until it's got a grip. So this join is right across the bottom of her chin so it fades in quite nicely. Now as I said I think this is where we're then missing a big chunk. Because I don't think we've got this piece. From here to here, I think is missing, which is a bit of a tragedy, really. So, I'm going to have to bring clay up from the back to fill in this area and then mold the leaves back onto it. I quite know how they managed to miss a chunk that size. Let's just check this piece here. Another piece of a jigsaw puzzle goes into position.
that's coming together nicely. As you can see, she has got quite a sizable hole though. So it will be our job once the glue is well and truly set and everything's in position, then we'll be filling in that hole. Then it'll be down to touching up the paintwork, seeing how we can make it blend in with these metallic colors and uh, put her back together as best we can. It's always satisfying when you know that somebody's going to be very, very happy to have their treasured item back together to be able to help them. So another layer has dried. Keep it well and truly sealed up because obviously it's air drying. We don't want the air getting in there. As it shrinks away from the edges, I'm going to literally use a cocktail stick, push the clay right into the cracks. I think the next layer, once this one has dried, I'll be able to start modelling some of these leaves onto it to replace the ones that were broken and lost. So I'm just rubbing. Okay, feeling happy with that. Let's let this dry. Let this dry. Then it will be to put the texture onto this in the next layer. Um, and then, of course, it's going to be a matter of retouching all the paintwork up. I think that that's not, it's a little bit on the bridge of her nose there, but I think that might fill with paint rather than trying to fill it with plaster. I'll give it a little go. Okay, so when I come back next time, we'll be ready to start modeling the leaves in. Okay, that's all for now.